Ulf Lindros has the best mwahaha in the business. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Swede is also one of the best shots we know. Today he's after his first ever Chinese water deer. It's also his first time in the UK. First mum check the other day. I don't know how to go with these. Let's see. They're very different from back home. Nice to get out of the snow. Remember the variety tour? A deer stalking trip across the south of England sponsored by Zeiss, Zawa, Hornady and Diana Hunting? The variety tour hunters are paired up today and Dom is also hoping to get a chance at this funny little deer. But probably not as much as Paul. And there's a lot of animals out here, so um, we try and pick out one of the cut animals and yeah. get you in close enough to uh, get a shot. Yeah. He's had a bit of a dry spell leading up to this morning, so he's rubbing his lucky charm to ensure the deer play the game for his clients. Normally when I'm struggling with uh, the acting, I give it a quick little rub and it works. But it hasn't worked for the last five days, because everyone keeps reminding me, I keep drawing blank when everyone else is bringing animals back. But today's going to be okay. Stalking Chinese involves making the most of hedgerows and the topography. In the early morning light, they can be tougher than their reputation leads you to believe. Saying that, within half an hour, Paul spots a young female on the opposite side of the stubble field. It's going to mean a crawl. I see the... I also see the one now. Yeah, I've seen one. That one's good. Okay. That one's okay to shoot. It's just as she steps forward, but she drops nonetheless. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's nice. Pressure nice on. Yeah, <laughs> good. good. Right, we're going to have a look, see what we've got. And, yeah. Uh, it's going to be thrilled. Yeah, it's a new species. New species, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Young female, this yeah. year's youngster. So that would have been born in May. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good, good clean animal. Really, yeah. really healthy animal. Yeah. Very nice. This is totally new, but really nice. It's just nice to see the country also on different terrain. And as I said, it's always nice to crawl around a little bit, and get down on your get down on your belly and shoot prone. It's always crawling nice. In the mud with Paul. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Even at distance, the shot looks like it has caused a lot of damage. Dom's impressed by the outshot from the yeah. Hornady Super Performance. Yeah, so, so, so sometimes if you know if your deer runs on, obviously you, you come to the shot site first of all and look for an outshot, um, some sign of you know hair or or blood or something to give you an idea of where to go but um, I think it's safe to say that the bullet today left I mean obviously the animal on the ground but one hell of an outshot that is hair, blood, lung, you know I think even Stevie Wonder could probably have followed that deer up. Dom has shot one CWD before so knows the score but is clearly feeling a bit suspicious this morning. Can't, right, okay. can't, can't. Um, the lucky coin worked the five out in blank has now been broken. Two fields over, Paul is happy there's another good cull candidate. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You're happy, okay. I'll wait for it to stop. Okay. Can you give her a shape stop her up, okay? Okay. Dom takes his chance. She jumps forward, but the shot is good. No, that's, no, that's not a century. Yeah. That's bang on. Oh, yeah. Just dropped it out. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly where I was aiming, so that's OK. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Well good shot. I don't know how you managed to get a man with a cough this bad anyway, close to a deer, but thanks very much. Well done. That's a double. Uh, you can go home with your head held high today. That, I'll be called out again before we finish, I think. <laughs> Paul has had a busy week catering for a load of international hunters, but he's brought home the bacon today. Or should that be the crispy fried deer? <laughs>